So hello, everyone, and welcome. I am Daniel Witzel, the Affiliate Program Manager for HemSmart, and I'm here today with our chairwoman of the Medical Advisory Board for HemSmart, Paula Vetter. And uh, I mean, those of you who are, are, have been a part of HemSmart for a while now, you know, absolutely know and, uh, you know, respect Paula and her reputation, her uh, advice, her wisdom that she brings with her. Um, you know, in terms of the uh, the medical and the health aspects of um, of this business, of these products that we have. Um, and so today I, I wanted to ask her on, obviously, with uh, COVID-19, with, you know, coronavirus, everything that's going on in the world right now. Um, and, and, you know, uh, we're, I'm in Cal, well, we're both in California, Paula. Uh, yeah. Now we're on lockdown over this whole situation. So um, while well, we're stuck inside here <laughs> and, and, and able to, uh, you know, re just really improve ourselves, improve, you know, and, and work on our health, you know, preparing for this thing. Um, you know, I wanted to, to have a live uh, call with you to talk about, um, you know, how we can stay healthy, you know, staying healthy with Hemp Smart, um, how we can, uh, you know, use or, you know, what products you might recommend. And I'll, I'll kind of go through the questions here in just a minute. But what products you would recommend that HempSmart has, how CBD, uh, you know, works to help improve and help your and uh, support your immune system. Um, you know, additionally, any other products or any other, you know, things that you think might be helpful during this time. So um, with that, you know, I, I just want to start off with, you know, how, how do you uh, think that CBD actually helps our immune system? You know, what does it do in our bodies? How does it, how can the HempSmart products actually help support our immune systems, uh, you know, through this time? It, you know, it's, it is a difficult and challenging time for everybody. Um, and the, the thing that I have always told, um, you know, the people I care about and my clients, <clears throat> excuse me, is that the best thing that you can do in terms of, of avoiding disease is to support your immune system. There's no, you know, and we have to be careful about how we talk about, you know, this virus or any other virus. Right. Um, you know, this CBD doesn't kill the, the coronavirus, but it makes us much less vulnerable, much less receptive. CBD, uh, if you remember the three functions of the endocannabinoid system, balances all hormones, balances all brain chemistry, and regulates immune system and inflammation. When we look at what happens with uh, COVID-19 is people who get really ill it's because number one, their immune system didn't properly defend against the virus. And then once it activates, it goes crazy. And there's a chemical process called the cytokine storm. The cytokine storm is what causes massive inflammation in the lungs. And that's why people die. So CBD does two things. Number one, it modulates our immune system. It actually helps our defenses so that the virus cannot enter our cells to replicate. That's one important difference between viruses and bacteria. Bacteria can grow on all kinds of surfaces. Viruses cannot replicate on surfaces. Viruses have to get into a cell and borrow your cell's materials in order to divide and replicate. What CBD does is to improve your immune response to keep that virus from entering the cells. And then in the event that there is a, you know, a small amount of virus that gets in, it helps to prevent inflammation and that cytokine storm so that even people who get infected are less likely to have disastrous results as a, as a result of that. So it really works on a couple of levels helping to prevent binding of that virus to the cell so that it can enter and also mediating the inflammatory response so that if there is an infection, we're much less likely uh, to have a, a disastrous outcome. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I think we all know how important that can be, uh, you know, in, in our lives, like you said, with the cytokine storm, I know that that was a personal concern for me that I had addressed with you. So, um, you know, th that obviously is how CBD can help us. So what, uh, what of our hemp smart products would you recommend, uh, you know, in a time like this, I know that you had made a couple personal recommendations for me, but you know, for those of us watching, like, you know, what can we be doing, uh, you know, to, to prevent this with the products that we have here at hemp smart? 
Uh, great question. And, and there, are, there are really two things that I would highlight specifically. Number one is our CBD drops. Remember, those are the foundational support. Those are going to, we give them under the tongue, you get maximum absorption that way. They're going to get throughout your system to support the endocannabinoid system everywhere. This particular virus lives in our nose and throat and sinuses. That's where it, it binds and it replicates until it gets to a point where it eventually invades the lungs. So we want this to be everywhere, not just topically. So we're talking about ingesting, um, you know, a, a, a sufficient amount of, of CBD to support our body's own ability to defend itself. So the CBD drops um, are great. You know, I use them every day, twice a day. Um, you know, average person for, um, you know, protection will use 10 to 20 milligrams a couple times a day. Um, you don't need to take massive amounts. If you feel like you're coming down with something, it makes uh, sense to increase that a little bit. But, you know, 10 to 20 milligrams a couple times a day um, is enough to support your immune system for daily defense. Um, the, other, the other product that I especially like in terms of um, helping defend your immune system is the Hemp Smart Brain. Um, and that may sound counterintuitive. It wasn't designed specifically as an immune system supplement, but you're getting not only the CBD, but you're getting substances like turmeric. Turmeric is a potent anti-inflammatory, um, also helps the immune system, and it's combined with biopurine, that's black pepper. Everybody's talking about how important turmeric is. If you have it with an appropriately formulated black pepper, like biopurine, that's what's in the brain, it, it increases the absorption, the bioavailability of turmeric by 30 times. So you're getting 30 times wow. the availability. Uh, and that's the way ours is formulated in the Hemp Smart Brain. Um, so the turmeric is really important. The other thing um, that's being widely suggested for uh, you know defense against viruses, and this is not just coronavirus, but colds and flu and all the viruses that are out there, is green tea. There's a substance in green tea called catechin. Um, it's in the EGCG that's in our green tea, and our brain product in a daily serving has 100 milligrams of the bioavailable turmeric, also has 100 milligrams of green tea extract. So I like to sip on green tea. There's also some um, suggestion that this virus may be particularly heat sensitive. So drinking hot liquids may help if you've got some virus in your throat that's trying to colonize there. But you're also getting those green tea catechins by taking the Hemp Smart Brain. So that's, that's my recommendation. And what I do every day is the Hemp Smart CBD drops along with the brain capsules twice a day. And that's just simply making you more resistant uh, against the, that virus. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, based on your recommendation, I got both of those right there. So, um, and, and I, I know that, uh, you know, I know that we are currently out of stock of the 500 milligram drops. Those are coming back in. Um, but for those of you who didn't see, uh, I mean, I assume a lot of you are active in our group, but for those of you that didn't see, yesterday we lowered the 250 milligram drops down to the same value, which makes them $30 US uh, for, for the 250 milligram drops in our store right now. So it's the same value as a 500 milligram drops. Um, so if you don't have them, Paula obviously recommends using them. So get some of them. You know, we, we marked that down for you. We want to make sure that you can have these in hand, especially during this time. Uh, and then, you know, Brain, as always, is available on our store. Uh, absolutely great product. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, along with those two, Paula, I mean, do you have any other recommendations in terms of, you know, I don't know, vitamins or, uh, or you know, additional supplements that might be good during this time to, you know, and I know that it's not just COVID-19, obviously. We are in flu season colds are going around too. The symptoms on all three of these diseases are things that are, are so similar. Sometimes it's difficult to know, you know, what you have. So, so are there, are there just preventative measures that we can take that, you know, that we can get a, get a leg up on this ahead of time? Absolutely. There's, there's a number of things. And I, you know, this is something that I, I talk to people about all the time. And it's, it's true. The number one thing, and I know you've heard it a million times, is hand washing. 
80% of people who get this virus um, get it because the virus on their hands has touched their eyes or nose or mouth. You know, we talked about when you take the drops under your tongue, they get absorbed immediately because it's that, it's that moist membrane with a high blood supply. You have mm -hmm. the same thing in your eyes, you have the same thing in your nose. The viruses we know li lives on surfaces, perhaps up to days, certainly for hours. So if you touch a doorknob, a keyboard, your cell phone, your car keys, and you have the virus on your hands, the best thing you can do is wash it. Washing is 10 times as effective as hand sanitizers. People go crazy for hand sanitizers. That weakens the virus, but it doesn't get it off of your hands. So the best thing to do is wash your hands constantly. Mm -hmm. Once a day, wipe off surfaces. If you're using um, a disinfectant, you know, if you've got Lysol or something like that, that's great. It has to be wet and stay wet. You can't wipe it and then dry it right away. That doesn't, that doesn't kill the virus. Um, you can use plain old bleach. If you, you know you didn't get to the store in time and you don't have sanitizer, to use on your kitchen counters and your doorknobs and your bathroom counters. Uh, two tablespoons of bleach and eight ounces of water. Wipe things. They need to stay wet and air dry. Wipe your doorknobs. Um, you can use rubbing alcohol to wipe your, uh, your cell phone, your keyboard, use the disinfectant on your car keys. That, that is really key. Try not to touch your face. You know, there was a Facebook mm -hmm. meme of somebody wearing one of those cone dog collars because we, we tend to, I caught myself doing it just a minute ago. But if mm -hmm. you rub your eyes or you rub your nose and you've got virus on your hands, then you have just incubated your system with that virus. So we have to keep our immune we're all around viruses all the time. Most of the time we don't catch them because our immune system's healthy. So that's, that's the reason those things are important. Um, stress lowers our immune system. That's another reason why the CBD is helpful is that it helps to quell those stress hormones so that your, you know, your cortisol isn't sky high, which lowers your immune system. Um, you know, try to, uh, you know, get some fresh air and sunshine. You know, back in the old days before antibiotics, that was the treatment is fresh air and sunshine. You know, for people like us that are, you know, told to, you know, pretty much stay home and don't go out, they are right. saying it's fine to go out and take a walk, you know, stay six feet away from people. But if you're at home and you're working or catching up on projects, set an alarm every couple hours, go out, you know, whether it's on your porch or in your backyard, stretch a little bit, especially in the sunshine, take some deep breaths. That really does help with the stress and the immunity. Um, Everybody's turning to comfort food. Sugar depresses immunity. After you have a high sugar uh, treat, you know, you eat a donut for breakfast or you have a cookie or a brownie, it's comfort food, uh, raises the serotonin, although CBD does that too. But sugar, when your blood sugar elevates, it literally paralyzes your white blood cells for four to six hours. So think about all of that immunity that would be working against viruses and bacteria. You've just paralyzed it. You've made it sluggish. So it's like trying to walk through quicksand. So if you're going to have something sweet, you know, make it a small portion, have it at the end of the meal when you've got other food in your stomach so it doesn't raise your blood sugar, that will help your immunity. Uh, plenty of water for your immune system uh, cells to be able to work effectively. They have to be able to circulate through those smallest blood vessels. If you're not well hydrated, that doesn't happen. So, you know, it's back to the old fashioned wisdom. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, get fresh air, get exercise, drink plenty of water, get enough sleep. If you're not sleeping, your immune system can't operate functionally either. So, you know, make sure that you're getting enough sleep. If you're not sleeping well at night, um, you know, take a cat nap in the afternoon. That's fine. This is the time to do that. Um, other things that are, have proven to be helpful for the immune system, and you hear, you know, everybody and his brother is trying to sell um, everything under the sun, but vitamin C we know is helpful. Um, under normal circumstances, we don't absorb more than 500 milligrams at a time and the rest just goes out through the urine. But if your system is under stress, we can use 1,000 milligrams two or three times a day. Um, it's cheap. 
you know, doesn't cost a lot. You can get it from, you know, everybody knows about orange juice, but things like, you know, bell peppers have lots of vitamin C there. You can Google vitamin C foods, uh, or if you happen to, you know, have access to vitamin C supplements, they're in short supply right now. Um, but it's a good thing to do, and it, it does have proven uh, effectiveness. Vitamin C not only helps defend against viruses, but it helps to prevent cytokine storm. Uh, it helps the immune system from overreacting and causing lots of inflammation. Um, elderberry is very helpful. Elderberry syrup, uh, you can find at the drugstore. Uh, if you happen to have access to elderberries, you can make your own. But a tablespoon of elderberry syrup a couple times a day is a very effective antiviral that's natural, doesn't have any side effects. Um, Colloidal silver can be helpful. Remember I said that viruses usually start in our nose and throat. So a colloidal silver nose spray morning and evening can help to kill off any viruses that are starting to build up there before they have a chance to move to your lungs. Vitamin D3, in my book, that is the most important thing you can do on a daily basis for your immune system. Um, we know people who have adequate vitamin D3 just don't get um, you know, bacterial and viral infections as much. I personally take 5,000 units of D3 every day, 365 days a year. Uh, the holistic clinic that I used to uh, run, when we had someone who was exposed to flu, if they, they called and said, you know, my husband just got the flu, what can I do? We had them take 20,000 units a day for three days. You don't want to do that long term, but making sure that your body is, is uh, uh, filled with vitamin D3 is important. We already talked about turmeric and combining it with black pepper, that's important. Um, ginger is antiviral. Um, you know, ginger tea is great. You can just grate some raw ginger or, um, you know, even use powdered ginger in hot water. Uh, the heat from that uh, definitely helps. So lots of things that we can do that are, are not very sophisticated. Um, another thing that I tell people to do, very simple, but we don't always think about it, is when you're out and about, you know, out in the community or you're going to work, when you come home, take off your shoes at the front door. Don't track through the house, especially if you've got carpeting and surfaces that aren't really easy to disinfect. Um, just removing your shoes at the front door and, and wearing slippers inside can make a difference. Um, be careful if you go to the grocery store and you're bringing home the bags, don't put them up on your kitchen counter. Um, you know, they've been sitting on surfaces that may be contaminated, so sit them on the floor, unload them that way. So just come Common sense things, but um, making sure that your immune system is is in top shape to, um, you know, we're all going to get some level of exposure. Uh, we try to keep it to a minimum, but if the immune system is healthy, we should be able to battle it successfully. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I, so the question that uh, came up, uh, and this was actually from Stacy Zubiati, our associate that's here on the call, um, was. Uh, between all of the products, you know, if you're taking brain and you're taking the drops and you're getting different CBD dosages, uh, you know, for, from uh, various products, I mean, you could be using the pain cream and getting it in topically, et cetera. Um, how much is too much or can you build up a, 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 a immunity to it? You know, like, can it, can it lose its effectiveness? Uh, you know, is the tolerance for it uh, something that you can build up or something? Or, or is it something that you, you can't have too much of? That's a, it's a great question. And the, and the easy answer is you, you really can't get too much. Um, you know, as people ask about, you know, I always say, you know, that you don't have to worry about side effect with, you know, medications. Um, people who are taking huge amounts, over 500 milligrams a day, there may be some effect of how we clear other prescriptions. But 500 milligrams a day is a whole lot. So if you're yeah. taking, you know, if you're taking 20 milligrams uh, a couple times a day at the drops, and then you're taking the brain, that's another 30 milligrams. Uh, so now you're up to 50. You'd have to take 10 times that much to begin to have any concern about the amount of CBD. So, you know, you could literally drink a bottle of the 500 milligram drops every day and not have any side effect except on your pocketbook. Mm. That's a, yeah, <laughs> there, is no, there is no tolerance. That's a, that's a good question too. Is right. you know, if, I, if I'm boosting my intake, it's just like vitamin C. If I've got a cold or I've got an infection, I may be taking three or 4,000 
uh, units of vitamin C a day or three or 4,000 milligrams of vitamin yeah. C a day. But once I'm through that, I'm going to go back to my 500 milligrams once a day and it's going to be just fine. Same with CBD. You don't, you don't do anything to those receptors to make them require more. There is no tolerance buildup. Right, absolutely. And I, I know that I have heard, though, from people, you know, who have, who, who have, uh, you know, long term use of CBD or even medical grade, you know, uh, marijuana uh, cannabis, um, where they don't necessarily feel the CBD effect, um, you know, but it sounds like it's something that you, you can't necessarily have too much of our product, our CBD, uh, in this format where it's, you know, hemp derived, uh, which is a, a great thing to know. And, and people do tend to develop a tolerance for THC. That, that mm. is a, that's a separate issue. But with the CBD and the other complementary cannabinoids that are non-psychoactive, um, there's no evidence of tolerance at all. Good, good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and a, a question that came from our associate Stephen Smith as well. And guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to chat them in and, and, and ask them here in the chats as well as we're you know, starting to get towards the end of this. Uh, we'll definitely make some time to answer those. Um, but uh, from Stephen Smith, he was asking uh, with, with keto diets and, you know, putting yourself into ketosis, um, you know, for as a dieting trend, uh, how, does, how does CBD kind of work within that uh, in terms of, you know, keeping you healthy, keeping you nourished, uh, you know, like, like you said, all the, all the benefits that, we, that come from CBD, how do those kind of work together? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely fine on a keto diet. With a keto diet, what you want to avoid is refined carbohydrates uh, primarily. Uh, we don't have any sugars. We have the organic hemp oil and coconut oil, uh, along with the complementary cannabinoids and terpenes, all of which are going to, to not do anything to take you out of ketosis. Um, you know, we talked about the, the harmful effects of sugar on the immune system and, and certainly, um, you know, people who are on, um, you know, the, the keto diet are aware of keeping sugar levels to a minimum and the hemp smart drops and even the capsules, there's no concern in terms of carbohydrates that are going to disrupt that. All right. Well, good to know. Good to know for Steven there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Billy Nagar, that's more of a question for me, actually. So the, will the California lockdown be affecting product shipments? As of now, um, sh uh, shipping uh, organizations, UPS, USPS, and FedEx are still operating. Um, our, our inventory guy, Joel Tolchin, is still in the office daily um, shipping out. He's the only guy in the office. That's how we're, the office is closed for the most part, except for him to go in and, and take care of that from the warehouse. Um, so uh, as of right now, shipments are not interrupted in any way. Um, and it, it doesn't appear that that's going to be shut down. Obviously, that's pending any uh, further action from federal or state levels that could stop that. I mean, I, I can't necessarily speak to that at this point. Um, all right, so Sharon, looks like she had a question. What if you're a type one diabetic uh, born with the disease? My husband is on an ongoing pump. Can CBD work? So it sounds like the, on an ongoing uh, insulin pump. Um, can CBD work within that? Oh, absolutely. Um, I have a number of, of people with type 1 diabetes. And again, we have to be very careful and compliant. Um, but I'm finding because of, of the fact that it decreases inflammation and helps to, to decrease stress response, um, that it can actually uh, have some long-term beneficial effects on the markers, we frequently see blood sugars, uh, you know, become lower. The the requirements for insulin sometimes are less. And I'm not saying that CBD treats <laughs> diabetes, but there certainly is no problem with using it. And there may be multiple benefits to someone with type one diabetes using uh, the drops. Well, yeah, good, good to know. Yeah, Sharon, Sharon says thank you there. So, um, all right, guys. Well, if you if you don't have any other questions here, I think we're about to wrap this up. I'll give you one more minute here just to get them in. But uh, Paula, any last words of wisdom before we go off here? If there aren't any other questions, uh, no. Again, just you know. People just just relax, breathe, you know, look at this as a time to, you know, for those of us who are, are pretty much on lockdown, I know that it doesn't involve everybody, but, you know, look at it as a, a time to catch up on the things that you haven't had time to do, spend time with your family, get out those board games, read that book that, you know, you've been putting off, um, keeping the stress down, just breathing, and again, fresh air, sunshine, lots of water, good nutrition, 
uh, wash your hands like crazy and don't touch your face and we're all going to come through this fine. Yeah, do, do do our best not to touch our face. I know it's something I find myself. I've, I've already noticed that I've been doing it here on the call. Yeah. <laughs> so. it's, it's, you know, it's 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 a hard thing to do. Yeah, but, uh, it's, it's it, hard to be conscious of when you go through life doing it anyway. So um, <laughs> exactly. So we, so we did get two other questions in here from Carolyn Coley. So my customer, she has a customer on heart medication. Uh, is CBD okay with that, or you know, what what is the you know kind of general consensus on that? Absolutely. Like I said, in, in terms of any medication effect at all, you have to be over 500 milligrams of CBD before it even has the inklings of any side effects. So whether it's heart medicines, blood pressure medicines, blood thinners, chemotherapy, it doesn't matter. At normal doses, you know, if you're talking 20, 40, 60 milligrams a day of CBD, zero uh, problem whatsoever. Over 500 milligrams, then it's something that you should be talking to your healthcare provider about. But I don't know anybody who's taking 500 milligrams of CBD a day. Yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be like you said, that'd be like drinking a whole bottle a day, which That's would be right. very diffi right. difficult for the pocketbook. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Stacy just had one last question. So uh, what is uh, non-detectable, um, you know, no THC or the trace amount of uh, THC? The What's considered non-detectable? The by law, um, hemp can have three tenths of one percent THC. The most of the certified labs detectable level is one one hundredth of uh, not three tenths, but one one hundredth of a percent. That's if it's less than that, it's non detectable. So you're talking about one three hundredth of the allowable amount of THC. That's the lower le level of detection. So at less than one one hundredth of one percent, not enough to have any effect, not enough to show up at a drug test. Um, so that's considered non-detectable. Absolutely. Well, uh, no, that was great information, great questions and answers, everybody. So thank you so much, all of you for participating. Very excited about this. Um, and uh, like Paula said, uh, her two recommendations here of our HempSmart product would be our brain product as well as our drops. Like I said earlier on in the call, the drops products have been reduced to $30 US. That's, that's globally, uh, you know, the, the equivalent on all of these. Um, you know, so uh, go onto the store, get them. If you don't have them, be sure that you're taking them. I'm taking them every day as well as the D3 and the C and all of that. So uh, I just want to thank you all for attending. Thank you, Paula, so much. And uh, we will see you guys on our next HemSmart Live. Thank you. Be well, everybody. Bye-bye.